at CES, we are demonstrating the fact that uh, we're bringing a new tool to simulate a printing. And this tool is exactly a simulator of a printer, and it creates the exact same effects as the printing on the CAD file. We discovered that uh, a lot of people were deceived by their printing because they over-engineered the file, they put a lot of details inside, and then in the end they were very, very deceived because the printer in itself destroyed the details and add those layers. That's why we bring this uh, new tool that we call Final Proof. And Final Proof is a way to simulate a real printer. One of the big challenges of uh, 3D printing is to get the right data. And the right data is uh, the right file, but also the software suit. The software will be able to fix your, your file, so to modify every aspect of the file that needs to be modified to be printed and then to be able also to verify that uh, your file is strong enough, your object is strong enough. And then we have this final proof tool that is uh, able to simulate things. And all those software bricks, in, in, in fact, made uh, the printing process by itself really easier. And uh, if you listen to the comments in the hallway, you understand that the major problem of 3D printing is the fact that it's not easy enough. And, and in, in fact, it's not easy at all, and uh, it needs—it doesn't need to be so complex. And that's why we uh, we work a lot on doing software to make it more simple, and to be sure that uh, the customer and the end user will be able to go from his idea to his object very rapidly and without the hassle of uh, converting an object, uh, a file from one format to another, then slicing then verifying, then placement, and so on. That's everything that we do automatically on our platform. The interesting thing is that it's more and more manufacturing people. We do about half of our production for manufacturing, so not only mockups and prototypes, but real objects, real parts, that are used by our customer. And so the customer will place these parts inside an object. Usually it's not the, the full object, it's only one part of the object and then it will be the, the final product. For example, we have a headphone. Uh, we've created a small part inside the headphone, but this part is so complex in terms of geometry, it's so complex that it cannot be manufactured another way. And that's why the customer used 3D printing to create this, this part. We are really transitioning from the mock-up and prototyping world uh, to the manufacturing. It's, uh, it's really amazing to see how much of uh, people are now thinking of uh, 3D printing as a new way to manufacture objects and not only create a prototype, but now they, they understand that they can manufacture, which means uh, manufacture in small series, not only for a uh, series of uh, one million objects, but not for one object or ten objects. It's for a series of about 1,000 to 5,000, maybe 10,000, maybe 15,000 for smaller objects. So this, this is the kind of series that we do, and that's uh, really our main focus for 2015.